And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I do with my photos in my listings to enhance the quality of my listing. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And today, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna show you a few tips that, at least what I do uh, to make sales, because as I mentioned, you know, a lot of buyers, they unfortunately don't read, but of course, if you have a bad photo, they won't even give your listing the time of day, and they're gonna move on to your competitor's listing. And I've done a lot of research I do take time to check my competition to see some of the photo styles that they're using. And in this video, I wanted to come to you with some ideas. Uh, doesn't mean I know everything, but if there's one thing maybe you can get out of this video, then maybe it was well worth it. You know, if you're knocking it out and you feel like your photos are fine, hey, great. But in this business, you should never turn your nose up at information. And, you know, maybe there's a tip here that you can learn from. Uh, and so that's sort of the goal here. And it works for me. You know, I have made a lot of changes with my photos over the last couple years. And these are the things that work for me. So the first thing that I do when I'm creating a listing is, of course, I'm going in and I'm inserting my photos. And a lot of times they'll already be pre-cropped. So I'll go into Windows and crop them there with the Photos app. But if you're using eBay's tool, you can certainly go in like I'm showing you right here and uh, find your, your photo, go in and crop your photo. So you're getting all the unnecessary stuff, all the extra space that's not your item out of the way. And then once that's cropped, um, I noticed that a lot of photos are too dark, so I go in and I set it for around 30% brightness. A lot of people, they have like a darker screen, and if your photo appears to be dark, they're going to miss a lot of details on your photo. So uh, it's not going to, and you don't want to whitewash your photo. So if it looks like you're whitewashing your photo, you're got, you've gone way too far, you have it too bright, okay? Um, another thing that you can do is I'll take a photo. This is for my iPhone. So if you have an Android phone, I don't know what the actual steps are. So if you're using an iPhone, you go in to your photo, you click on edit in the upper right hand corner. So the first thing I do after I click edit is I go into this wand icon and I click it. And what it does is it changes all the values for the photo to make it uh, the photo pop a little bit more. And then I scroll over and I go find the brightness and I change it to 25%. And I do that in addition to changing the brightness uh, with, with eBay that I showed you. Again, we don't wanna whitewash the photo, but we wanna make it bright enough so that the details of the image do come out and they're not too dark where you're missing a lot of key details. Second thing is, I personally believe that white backgrounds are the way to go. Now, there's other sellers out there that'll tell you uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you can use like a dark background, a gray background. Um, you can use like wood background. That's fine and dandy. And those don't look too bad on eBay. I don't do the white background for eBay. I do it for Google. And of course, none of you guys are listing your item on Google. What you may or may not know is someone can be looking for your item on a Google search. They have no intention whatsoever to go onto eBay to buy this item, okay? To find your item, if you have a wood background or a dark background or a non-white background, it will not show up in a Google search. And I'll show you here. One of Google's policies is for Google shopping is to use a solid white or transparent background. These background colors ensure that your image works with a variety of design elements. Now, that's Google's design elements. So when your item appears in Google search, that item shows up with a white background. Well, when they click it, 
it sends them over to eBay. Now, here's my chart over the last month, and I encourage you to check yours. At the bottom represents your external search page views. Now, you will not ever see uh, external impressions because eBay counts its own impressions. So when someone does a Google search looking for your item, eBay doesn't keep track of how many times your item shows up in the Google search. What it does keep track of is every time that person clicks on that Google uh, link, or usually it's a photo, but it's a link to your item, that's an external page view that pops up here. And you want that, that's extra traffic. You're doing nothing more than adding a white background to your items to attract other buyers that would not normally see your listing. And look, if you look at this chart here, it's uh, a pretty good percentage of my page views is from people who had no intention on buying my item through, through eBay. So you may be in the camp of, hey, as long as it looks clean, uh, has like a nice wood or tile or whatever pattern in the background, but I'm here to tell you, if you do that, you're gonna be missing out on some external page views that you may not know that you're missing out on. Another tip I think is important, I try to get in 12 photos, okay? I use 12 photos. Now, I will try to take as many angles and different photos of the item, so I have 12 photos and many of my items have that. Sometimes I only get six or seven, and I have no problem with putting the same photo in as long as I have 12. But the point here is you want to focus on your zoom in. So if you see this video here, it's an Amazon uh, listing. I sell Nes Nespresso coffee uh, makers, so this is the video I'm showing you. And you'll see that it has your standard photo, then another, um, another view of the item, and then it goes into a zoom in of the spout. And I think it's important that you, you use the zoom in feature, like on the iPhone, it's like 2.5 instead of the one, you go to 2.5 zoom, and you zoom in on key aspects of your item. So in this particular case, um, of the example I showed you, it happens to be the spout for the coffee maker. It could be the water tank. It could be the drip tray. It could be any other component that you feel is important that you want your customer to focus on. Maybe there's a blemish on the item. Maybe there's a dent or a ding that you want to make sure that you're very clear about. And you want to use zooms to make sure that it is very clear uh, to your customer what you want them to see. And I think it's a very effective tool. And uh, it's something that most listings do not have. Uh, my listings do have them. I would recommend you take that extra time, use zoom ins when you're uh, creating uh, photos for your listings. So guys, what do you think? Um, again, I'm not here to give you just basics. I use an iPhone 12 to make to take my photos. You can use any uh, camera you like that uh, I would recommend using a higher resolution uh, camera. Of course, natural light works great. Um, you can also use just your LED lights if you have a light kit, that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, take the time to make sure your photos look presentable. And the goal here, if you're utilizing all these tips that I'm giving you, especially if you want to have more exposure with Google search uh, on your listings with that white background, you want your listing to look like a stock photo. And of course, you don't wanna use a stock photo as your main, main photo. Um, you want to use your own photo, but you wanna make it look like a stock photo. And that's what Google wants. That's what drives these external page views. And hopefully this information, whether it's just one tidbit or uh, all of it, hopefully is helpful to you guys. Um, so please do me a favor. If you enjoyed this content, hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 10K. If you guys could do that, it would be very much appreciated. And hit that uh, notification icon because when I go live or make another video, you're gonna be notified. Now I want you guys to post your tips uh, down below. What other things did I totally miss here? Um, and of course, 
If you feel like I'm wrong on something, please uh, respectfully put why I'm wrong down below. And uh, again, I don't proclaim to know everything. I'm here to learn along with you. But this is what I do. I had 13 sales today and uh, it started off to be a slow day, but I got home to 11 sales. Uh, we, went, we went out with some friends this evening and uh, this evening being Wednesday night, you're seeing this video on Thursday. And I was pleasantly surprised, but I owe that a lot to the quality of the listings that I put together. Um, I got to tell you, if my listings didn't have the certain standards that that uh, I expect from each and every one of the listings that I put out there, uh, like these photo uh, tips that I've given you, uh, I'm sure that I would have a lot less sales. And uh, of course, if I was struggling at making sales uh, overall, um, it would be harder to bring this advice to you, but this works for me. So again, please comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this topic. So as you're watching this, it's Thursday, uh, if it's beyond Thursday, then disregard this message. But later today, Thursday, the 16th of December, uh, there is going to be a seller check-in for the month of December with eBay. And hopefully you're registered and you get to attend. It's at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. And I anticipate it being around an hour, so it'll be done by about 2.30 Pacific time. I plan on going live, doing a live stream uh, approximately 3 p.m. Pacific time uh, to give you guys, you know, some uh, heads up on what may be happening, any news that we learn from uh, this seller check-in. There's supposed to be some kind of an announcement, so it may be absolutely nothing, but uh, I figure I'll take some notes and I'll share whatever I find with you uh, on that live stream. And of course, there may be nothing to announce, but please... Uh, show up, help support the channel, bring your questions because it's going to be another Q&A. I figure I'll do the video from about 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 o'clock Eastern for an hour and to uh, have just an eBay discussion with everyone tomorrow afternoon. So guys, it doesn't matter which one of these tips you incorporate to improve your photos or if your photos in your opinion are perfect. This is just another example of how flipping ain't easy. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Take care, everyone.